Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Ayutthaya. And I decided today to come over here and take a look at this first class royal temple. This is what Suwandaram Raja Warihan, I think is how you say it. Anyway, this is a first class royal temple and this was built in the late Ayutthaya era. And it was built by the former Thai king, King Rama I, his father. His father built this and it was originally called Wat Tong, which is like Wat Gold. And it was uh, renovated later on by King Rama I in like 1785. And then it was renovated again under King Rama IV and R Rama VII. This is a really, really important temple, especially for the, uh, the current dynasty of Thai kings. Uh, anyway, we're gonna take a look at it, and the, what I wanna see is three things. We'll take a look at that nice chetty that's back there. We'll look at the mural paintings in the Ubasot and in the Weehan. And they're uh, really, really famous paintings. That's the uh, main draw over here. So uh, let's go take a look and let's see what we see. This is the temple itself, and it's surrounded by this really, really nice wall. And you can see the entrances here have all the, the plaster work. You see the Nagas and everything up there, and then some of the Buddhist imagery. And you come up over kind of a little threshold to come in, and this is what you see when you come in. A really cool looking bell tower, and you can see the entrances on the cardinal directions. And this right here is the Ubisot or the ordination hall. And then over here is the Weehan. And then you can see the bell-shaped chetty back there that is uh, Sri Lankan style. And the grounds itself is not very big for the old part, but it's just beautifully uh, maintained. And then you see the Bodai tree. And this is an active temple. So over here are all the monk quarters general purpose halls and everything else. You can take a look at the bell tower, the Ho Rakhang. Rakhang means bell. And this is built in the uh, European style. It was probably built by King Rama IV. He's the uh, one that kind of renovated these and added this building to it right here. King Rama IV did quite a bit of stuff here in Ayutthaya. There's several of his temples that were, uh, were built. And there's even one temple that was being restored upon his death, and he just abandoned the uh, restoration. I've done a video of that, and it's kind of interesting to see. So you can see the styling of this right here. You see the mythical birds up there on the peaks, the Vishnu or whatever riding the Garuda, and you see all that gold and it's uh, quite beautiful. You can see how the middle of this is bowed in like a boat. They uh, designed these to look like the Chinese junks, the ships, and that is a styling feature that you see in the Ayutthaya era. And this has been renovated, so they've added a lot more above the windows and stuff that would have been here originally. And it is a royal temple, so you see the double Buasima stones right there. Let's go in here and let's look at this. There's going to be two rows of murals in here. There's going to be an upper and a lower. And I believe these were uh, painted in 1931. And they're supposedly the first uh, oil paintings on plaster in Thailand. And uh, this will be a nice little treat for us. You can see the doors here. And all of this detail work that they do with those little pieces of glass. And I've seen him putting those in and the guy sits there and just files them down by hand and then he fits them into each of the little slots that are gonna go in. Okay, so here we go. So you can see how this looks in here. This is really, really quite nice. Places like this, the tourists don't really go to. This is more for like the locals. There will be people that will pop in, but generally it will be the Thais that will come over here and they'll, uh, they'll pray and make merit and everything. So you have the upper row 
and then you have the bottom rows. And the bottom rows are the scenes of the Jataka. And the Thais know all of these stories. And you see up here, here's the goddess of the earth. And this is a really famous scene where she's flooding the world. And you'll have the monsters and the people. And it's just absolutely magnificent. Okay, so we got a monk that came in. He's uh, talking to some people here. And the first thing they saw when they came in here is the Buddha. And they said, Sui Mak, which means like very beautiful. And so you can see the pedestal that it's built on. And then the, uh, the main Buddha image up there. Yeah, it's really, really a nice image. And you can just see the detail work of all of these paintings. Yeah, so you can see all of these paintings are just a masterpiece. The detail, they have mustaches. Everything is just amazing. And then uh, it goes from the top, and then it has this right here that separates the, the different rows. And then you have the little Buddha figures and stuff. And then the ceiling is all that carved wood, and it's just really, really nice. Okay, so let's go over and let's look at the other scenes, the battle scenes. Those are the ones that I like the most at this temple, but these are really nice also. If you notice on this temple, you see there's three entrances, and the center entrance is supposed to be the royal t entrance for the king. And right behind that wee hand is this huge chetty. Now it is the bell-shaped, which is like the Sri Lankan style. And it has that little platform up on the right there. And you can get up there and walk around. And I guess this is a common style of the chetties from King Rama IV. And it's just right here behind the wee hand. Let's go in here and we'll come over and we'll walk up on that little platform of the, uh, the chetty, which is quite nice. You can see all the, just the little tiny details. They have the figures up there, the naga, the bottom of that roof right there. You see how it's that wood and it's all hand painted. And I've seen a few of these temples that have been renovated. And I've made a video of one where they were actually uh, doing the renovation and it was quite cool to see. You can see the craftsmen doing all of this stuff, doing all the woodwork, all the tiles. It was uh, a lot of fun to see. And this one here, you can see it also has the three doors. And I think I might've misspoke. I think the mural paintings in the Ubisote, that uh, ordination hall, I think they were painted under Rama I and then renovated by uh, King Rama III and he left them in this style. I think these are the paintings here that were done in 1931, the first oil paintings done on the plaster. And these are a real treat. I think there's 22 different panels and they're all scenes of King Narasawan the Great and this is the highlight of it all. This is a really, really famous battle right here between King Narasawan and the Burmese general. And I guess in the, uh, in the story, King Narasawan was losing the fight and he whispered, his elephant went down on one knee and he whispered in the elephant's ear some words of encouragement and the war elephant stood up and then he ended up fighting stronger and won the battle. And uh, all of this is really, really famous. And I guess King Narasawan was, whenever he died, he was on campaign invading uh, Burma and he died and then his younger brother took over and he retreated from the fighting and came back over here to Ayutthaya. And he became kind of a like uh, not a war king, his younger brother became a king that was uh, instrumental in opening up trade from the Ayutthaya kingdom to the rest of the world. He uh, 
took basically the soldiers and turned them into merchantmen. And he used all the infrastructure that was set up for war to, uh, to do trade. And he kind of made uh, the Ayutthaya kingdom really, really prosperous. This panel right here shows King Narasawan's death in 1604. Yeah, he died of a mysterious disease while trying to invade modern-day Myanmar at the time was uh, Burma. And in his brother, King Ekrasat, I think was his younger brother's name, he took over. And here's one of the scenes where King Narasawan was invading Burma. And he tried to defeat the city in Torangu. They had a huge city moat, and they dug a canal to try to drain it, but they never were able to. I guess the little canal is still Klong Siam, which means the Siamese Canal. Here's a scene where he, uh, King Arasuan conquered the Burmese, but the Burmese king escaped. Another famous act of King Narasuan, where he conquered the Cambodian king. They attacked Cambodia Praia Luwak, and the, that's the Cambodian king, and they executed him. And then the elephant duel battle. The detail work of that is really so cool. Yeah, this whole hall is really nice. You see it has the same teak wood ceiling, and then the main Buddha in here is fantastic. And then they have the little stage right here for the monks so they can come over here and they do their chanting. And you can come in here and take a look. Like, <laughs> like you see scenes like this. This is a really famous scene where uh, King Narasawan and the Burmese prince, they had the, uh, the fighting chickens. And King Narasawan's chicken won the fight. That's a scene that you see depicted all around Thailand. And a lot of these temples you'll go to, they'll have the chickens, and they'll be out in front because of that. Yeah, the Burmese prince lost face because his chicken was defeated. And what's interesting is King Narasawan was trained to fight by the Burmese. He was taken as a, uh, basically like a hostage after the fall of Ayutthaya, and he ended up learning how to fight from the Burmese and he was very instrumental in liberating Ayutthaya at the time from the Burmese after the, the White Elephant War in the 1500s. Okay, so that was really fun in there. Let's go back here and let's look at this chetty now. You can see the series of smaller chetties that are around the big one. And these will be the ashes of some important people. At this temple, probably some minor royals and there are quite a few of them around the base of here. And then there's another one right behind that ordination hall right there. And let's walk up to this little chetty and then we'll see the temple from up here. And this is the little platform. That's quite nice. Now the chetties are kind of falling out of favor in the modern Thai temples. They're doing a lot of different stuff, but you don't see these big, huge chetties being built as much as in the old days. It used to be kind of standard to have like uh, the ordination hall, the uh, Weehan, and one of these chetties. But sometimes you see small chetties, but nothing as big as these right here. And this is fantastic. Yeah, I really like this temple. This one's small, but it's really just fantastic, the detail and everything else. And you can see up there, there is the Erewhon, the three-headed elephant. And I'm not sure if that is the seal of King Rama IV. I think it is. I could be mistaken, but I believe that is his seal. It's going to finish up a... Uh, video over here at this first class royal temple. I've been here before and I made it and uh, made a video of it. And I have also included this in the, uh, the top temples of
Thailand, all of the first class royal temples. And I'll pin a comment to that video if you want to see the other 23 royal temples around uh, Thailand, all of the first class ones. Anyway, uh, this is a fantastic temple. I would recommend if you're on Ayutthaya, make a trip over here to see it. Look at those murals. The paintings themselves are just absolutely fantastic. And uh, I know they're not gonna come out as nice on the uh, camera as they are in real life. So hopefully you still can appreciate it. If you do, if you like the video, smash the like. If you've been here before, have any questions, let me know in a comment down below. Or if there's something else you want me to see, tell me that in a comment and uh, I'll try to do my best to make a video of it. And if this is your first time here at my channel, this is what I do. I show you things and tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like that, then stick around and you're notified when I post a new video. And from over here in IUTA, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.